Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's episode is going to be a bit different. As you can tell, um, I don't like being the sole focus of the videos. I like to record. However, I don't necessarily like being the main interest in them. So I thought what better way to fight that slight fear than being the main interest in the start of this video. Um, today is Wednesday. A nogi session at 210 HQ so let's jump straight into that but first I have to go and get a lift from Jay so let's do it now you probably think it's a little bit weird how somebody can be recording all the time and be so shy of the camera well i don't necessarily like recording myself i love recording i love recording other people i like being part of you know the great moments but i don't necessarily like recording so it's something that i'm trying to do to overcome that hopefully it makes better content who knows Easy now. It's the man himself. Man like JD, what are you saying, bro? You know, like before training, yeah. Don't ever like, because you know I'm always on a down on like, <laughs> And then before, you know what I mean? Yeah, so before we get there, it's always like this. But afterwards. You see what I go on after. You see the you see the pre and post pre facial expressions pre afterwards. <laughs> oh my god. The weather looks so dead. Yeah, and it was so nice earlier, man. It was wicked earlier. Typical loot. <laughs> Sunny straight to overcast. Good old Ashwell.
Slashin. We're going to have an open guard. Okay, for those of you that are quite new, the guard is Dean's legs. If I get past Dean's guard, I can attack him. Okay, all we're going to do to begin with is we're just going to move around and Dean's going to work on the face of his guard. We're going to get faster as we go. I want to make it more difficult for him. And Dean's just going to replace his guard. I'm not going ultra fast, trying to hammer him and shut him down and whatever else. But I am making sure that he puts it like, quite a bit of work in to recover his guard. Okay? Uh, uh, normal level pace. Uh, Not world championship level pace. Uh, Injury free pace is what we're going on now, yeah? Uh, nice. <laughs> Today, boy. Just always be mindful, I need to go under, so I might need to get lower and get in. Option one though, is we're just going to go in, slide, cross in, kick our leg free, and come into this position. We're going to do uh, 20 left, 20 right. Well, actually no, we're going, we're going to go for time. So I'm in, I'm going to step with one leg, step around, slide, boom. Make sure my hand stays under, I don't want him to go inside me. That's, that's terrible, I need to change my tactic if he starts going in here and, and, and make him think of something else. Okay, so I need to make sure that I keep that underhook position. Which is the elbow inside, hand inside. So I have to get my head low, suit my arm under. Head goes towards the floor side, grab a tricep, force him straight, and kick through. That's the first one we're going to do. All good? All good. All right, let's go. Hands up, one, two, three. <laughs> to take a slightly different thought approach, especially when we're in training, and try and think of different options. So, in this instance, Abin's going to have no gi DLR, right? No gi DLR either. So I need to get rid of a few things. I need to clear this leg, I need to clear this foot, I need to strip that hand, okay? So to clear this leg, C clamp, step, above the knee line, legs clear. I've got the foot and the hand to deal with. I can deal with the foot with my leg. So I don't need to touch my hands here. His strip, the strip, 
of his grip, I can't do with his leg there. So I'm going to have to go down the strip and kick. So now the DLR comes out, so the hook's out, my leg's free, and I've got his hand. We've got option to long step, but what I want us to talk about today is actually the high step. So I'm going to keep the hand, I'm going to push the knee out of the way, I'm just going to step through. We're going to straight down into the end of it. So, our partner's going to have the DLR set up. We're going to address all of this stuff is important, depending on how advanced you are as well, right? If you take it at a, a macro level, what we're talking about here is clearing his defence, or stripping his defence back before we mount our attack. His defence is one, two, three. Okay, first line of defence, that's gone now. Second line of defence, strip, third line of defence, gone. Now I'm ready to, to mount my attack. Depending on how athletic you are, but Nadim, yeah, he might do some kind of all out, boom, you know, one of these mad passes dropping down to it. And it really nice. Yeah, you might, you might try that. I'm old, I'm not trying that. Okay, so I'm going to go for like a more methodical approach. So I'm stripping, standing over his legs still in, I'm going to strip and kick at the same time. I'm going to push, so at this point, I'm going to push and step through, boom. I want to go straight down into the umbelly. Okay? The second that I'm happy with my knee and belly, I'm going to drop to control. Hand covers the hip, head comes into this position. Just to stop him. If he turns away, goes to turn away, I'm going to chase him, take control, get my back kick. Yeah? If he turns towards me, I'm going to make sure that he doesn't get his guard back because I'm coupling his bum kick. Can you remember how I'm allowed to do that? Yeah? I'm like a couple of man's bum kick. Only in this scenario. Yeah? Because it stops him. He can't recover his guard. Parker, don't think Mama said that. Yeah? <laughs> so, this is what we're going to focus on. Some of these core elements to good guard passing. All good? Yes. Okay, one more time. DLR. C grip. Yeah? Shoot it down. Step out. And pass. I could try this knee side, but he's got a DLR and he's got a hand in. Stop me. So I unhook and I kick him straight. I've got his hand now. I'm going to pull this leg forward. Pull this leg forward and step through. Boom. And go into this position. From here, I'm going to drop immediately. Boom. Cup of butt cheek. Grab his head. What way are you going to uh, escape with him? He goes away. I'm going to chase him and take his back. Yeah? Back to here. He turns into me. I'm keeping his bum cheek cupped. Keeping it cut. My bag. All good? <laughs> 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 I had the Wednesday favour to give the pickle. So we're in this situation here, even if he's got all of the same roots. Okay? Straight. I've already stepped over, I'm, I'm advanced. I've already stepped over, I'm in this position. I shake him free here. I'll go to go and I can't. Let's just say he grabs my foot again and he gets in the way. All I've got to do is use my left hand to go through and grab his, his leg. From here, I'm just going to step back and catch this. But now I've gone into what is essentially this um, saddle position. So from here, I'm trapping the leg. I'm stepping back over the knee because I want to make sure that I, I want to make sure that I clear his knee line. So I have to get over his knee line. Remember, we ride into him to catch this position, the saddle. He's going to normally, the more advanced they are, they're trying with their legs at this point because they don't want any of it. So he's going to be here. So you've got to think, okay, I'm in a saddle. Now I need to think of how I can undo his legs. And he's going to pull them towards you. You can finish this footlock here. You can finish and get in to this heel hook here. Yeah? Depending on how it goes, you can also pinch your thighs, lean up through, and then finish this knee by here as well. When you step back, boom. That's sliding here. I might have to lift him because I need to get into that saddle. So I might have to lift him to get my legs under. Do you have to lift him to ride underneath? Because I need his knee line. I have to have his knee line. Okay? And we're in this position. He will triangle his legs. What always happens. Because he's like, nah, I'm going to triangle my legs. I have to then take his legs. I have to. I have to take his legs. I'm always going to try and finish his footlock first. Because it's the nearest one to me. Yeah? If I can't finish that footlock, or he's throwing that leg away, he's like, nah, you're not having it, then I have to go to this leg, which is 
normal inside heel hook, yeah? Or depending again on how he's reacting, look, he might get to go away. Boom, I go into, um, sorry, out your outside heel hook, yeah? Cool. Normal shape hook. Normal shape hook. So look, we've landed, I don't know that. We've landed, we're in the saddle, his cross is feet, normally they cross it far away from you, yeah? And I'm holding on to my saddle position. I have to grab him. Now this is, he pulled it towards me. It's right up in my armpit. All of it, the mechanics are the same. Can I see his toes? Yes, then it's a shit footlock. Can I see his toes? No, I can't. Now I know I've got it. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna grab really tight, finish, or finish. Which way are you twisting your shoulders there? Say again, sorry? Which way are you twisting? I'm not twisting my shoulders here. I'm literally just kind of guillotine enough into it, or shotgun gripping up into it. But it's only a foot break, right? You know what I mean? Though, look, now you've given. Now I've done it too much, yeah. Haven't it? So, and you've given us a window into your availability. So now we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we know. We're talking to these. Exactly. Like, oh, serious. So you're choosing for real, for real. Yeah, money. Yeah. Go down. You like breaks. <laughs> We're going to play King of the Hill from the floor, yeah? No wrestling. We're saving the wrestling for our new match. We're just going to do King of the Hill from the floor. Okay? So, bigger boys, strong boys, high belts, all down this end. You wish, bruv. You wish. his face bless him look at his face <laughs> how did this happen harris was on his back and now my beans on harris's back and again look rolls reverse turn away for 30 seconds let's go harris 10 seconds Do it, we'll do that little bit more, right? If you man are sitting around on the side, 
because there's two things on the map. There's a bike lane, there's a treadmill lane. Yeah? That doesn't mean you've got to sit there and do nothing. There's other things. You might as well go on there and do 30 seconds sprints each. Bam, 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 bam. That bike is the closest thing I've ever felt to rolling cardio. Trust me. If you're about that life, and only a few people are, put yourself on that bike. Get five of you, go right, I'm going to do 30 seconds, you're going to do 30 seconds, you're going to do 30 seconds. Blast it, yeah? Keep the lungs going, yeah? Keep the cardio going, all right? So all, always leave like this, yeah? Oh, so build, build that cardio, man, and trust me. When you get on that mat, and there's a scoreboard, and there's a referee, and there's people watching you, every little bit of that conditioning counts. When Kieran Tenney jumps in these little, these little things, they, they, they count for something. Yeah? They're not just to, for us to tell you to do shit. They, they pay, they, they pay a, uh, they, uh, they pay a role, and they play, they play a role, yeah, in, in, in your development, and your, and your, and your conditioning, and your cardio, and all the, all the other shit that comes together. And there ain't nothing that we ain't done. Oh, well, we don't ask other people to do things that we ain't done. We don't even ask you to do some of the shit we have to do. <laughs> True. <laughs> cool. All right, pay your subs, come training, have fun. One, two, three. Pay your shit. Pay shit. Post training faces. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the joy! Uh, yeah. 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 You're only going to see that once every hour. Once every hour on a training day. <laughs> That's it. The beast. The beast himself. He calls me a wizard, but look at the size of his arms. It's like the size of my whole body, bro. <laughs> he literally just grabs me like this, and I'm like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's a savage, bro. Show me that one more time. Show me that one more time. You should be having your legs as good as you can. You should be showing me like round off backflips and that. Walking to training like that. Yeah. Bro, his arms are swimming in his legs. <laughs> it is you now. You need to be going downstairs and doing some gymnastics, bro. <laughs> it's happy, but still contemplating life. <laughs> Come on, my boy. <laughs> I got to carry him downstairs. You know, the old dude just fully kicked in now. That's that, lads. It's training done. Wednesday. No gi session. We got this session. That's it. 210 HQ. Now I need to go home and die under my bed. Things are like, right, I've got the bag, cool. Now let me think. But then obviously you've got counts for it and knowing that it's like cool. You can't just be like, oh yeah, I've got it now. It's <laughs> it's it's like working through. It just comes with experience, man, honestly. Like, it's like yeah, you been Street Fighter, man. You've got them traps. You're like, you know, oh, yeah, I think I've got to survive. You ain't survived shit, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I yeah. wanted you to be there. What do you mean? No. What do you mean I wanted you to be there? You don't you know. Say, you can't, it's... yeah, you can't know it that good. <laughs> like, I do. Like, all of your moves, plus my own. Baiting you into yeah. it. Sick. Sick. Nice Love you, man. Take care, my brother. Um, we'll probably try, I'm going to try to link up at the weekend if you're not busy and oh, stuff. I'm going to Best Fighter on Saturday. Oh, in Birmingham? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, what are you staying the night in there? Oh, I didn't, I didn't I think plan, I've got the kids. I didn't plan to because I was going on my own and it was like no one really liked Yeah, 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 yeah. You say like you've got like kind of like minded people in a tribe or whatever it's called. It's like, like they do, again, they know about putting themselves through pressure, they're persevering on things. Yeah. Like that's what we do on the maps all the time. So if you don't understand that, we probably can't relate. That's true. That's true. That is very true. It's weird how, like, not only, like, I don't know if it's, like, us as a community or the gym, 
but it brings everybody of like mind yeah. in the same room. Bro, you know Under the same community, we all have the same goal yeah. and like we're all working towards the same sort of thing. And the people that stick it out are the ones that are real because you know, if you come into that room and you mm -hmm. ain't on that, you ain't gonna be able to handle it. You might not come back. Yeah. That's kind of more that shit happens, all right? You okay guys, I just got home. It's about 9, 9.20, 9.25. I'm absolutely shattered. That was a great session. Wednesday, no gi class at 210 HQ. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Click the bell notification so you know the next time I upload. And make sure you jump on the Patreon. It is £7 a month, 25p a day. Very cheap, very cheap. You're going to get some exclusive content that you don't see on YouTube. Okay, guys. So, um, other than that, peace.